Hey there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jeanette and in this video I tried out calligraphy, more specifically the Chancery Cursive Script. Or is it called an alphabet? I'm not sure. I think it's rather called a script. I didn't plan on making a voiceover but I kept repeating myself so I decided to collect my thoughts and make a voiceover. Besides brush lettering I've only tried the italic script so far. And I still have video footage of that, so I was thinking that maybe I could make this a series and trying the different calligraphy um, scripts or alphabets or whatever and practice my calligraphy skills that I do not have right now. <laughs> but today's video is about the Chancery Cursive. And I'm using the Kelly Brush Pens by Online, which not only have a brush nib, but a calligraphy nib as well. And I struggled a lot. That's why I tried to do pen in the end too, which I didn't plan. I also used a practice sheet to see how the letters are supposed to look, and these to show the single strokes as well. Unfortunately, the worksheets don't include detailed instructions or tip on how to even start. For learning brush lettering you would start by practicing the basic strokes first and then move on to form letters. Here I started immediately with the letters. By doing this I realized that there are kind of basic strokes as well that repeat themselves. So next time I might start with these instead of practicing forming the letters which did not look good. I think it might be easier to practice these lines first by themselves without thinking about how they look combined. I hope you know what I mean. I try to translate it into brush lettering. By learning the basic strokes you get the skill to add the right amount of pressure so that your lines look the way they are supposed to. If you then add them together the letters might still not look as you want them to look. That is the next step. So to sum it up, next time I practice these first and get familiar with how to get the angles of the nib right. Because that was another issue I was having. I didn't know how to hold the pen properly. According to the worksheet you need to hold the pen at an 81 degree angle and be at a 45 degrees angle on the paper if I understood that image correctly on the worksheet. But for some letters I was confused that the line could stay thin even though there is a curve which doesn't seem to make any sense if you keep that angle the same because it would get thicker actually. As I mentioned before I did try to pen in the end as well as I had the impression it is difficult to achieve thin lines with these pens. The advantage of the Kelly brush pen though is that you don't need to worry about re-inking and I think that is another issue as a beginner. Another reason why I wanted to use these pens is that I don't need to clean them afterwards. But in the end I think I prefer the dip pen with the nib. Well I prefer brush pens. What about you? Do you prefer calligraphy or brush lettering? Let me know in the comments and if you have any knowledge in calligraphy feel free to tell me what else I did wrong. Anyway that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and didn't cringe too much about me trying calligraphy. If you did like the video you might hit the like button and if you want to see more check out my lettering playlist or even subscribe to join me on my journey to practice lettering, drawing and painting. So hopefully I see you in some other videos and until then have a great day. Bye!